Hi fifth graders, this rotation we're going to begin learning about one point perspective in an interior space, meaning a space that is indoors. Perspective drawing is a technique of drawing that you'll be using now um, through all of your high school art and if you continue to do art beyond that. It's a great skill to have. Perspective creates a piece of artwork that looks realistic. So we're creating a room, some type of interior space that is going to look like you can actually step into it. It's a really cool skill to have and we're going to break it down into simple steps so that we can all be successful in this endeavor. Today we're simply going to be concerned with setting up the space or setting up the room and I'm going to take you through those steps in my next video tutorial. Alright fifth graders, today what you'll need for tools is a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, you'll need some kind of straight edge. If it's the side of a, another piece of paper, that can work too in a crunch. A piece of paper, preferably white, but as you can see, I am not using a white piece of paper, so any paper will work, and a pencil. We're going to be drawing very lightly today because there's a lot of erasing that comes with working in perspective. We're going to be drawing lines and then erasing them, and then drawing lines and erasing them. Those are called guiding lines. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple box or rectangle shape in the center of my paper. I don't want it too tiny and I don't want it too big either. Now the lines need to be very, very straight across. So I'm using the edge of my paper to help line up my ruler and make, it, make sure it's nice and straight. I'm gonna do all four sides. The size of your box is not, doesn't have to be like a certain size exactly. Just kind of right in the center here. All right. So that's step one, make your box. Second step is to create what's called the vanishing point. The vanishing point is incredibly important when working in perspective because it's where all the lines are going to meet, where all the converging lines or the diagonal lines are going to meet. At the vanishing point, it appears that things will disappear. They don't actually disappear, but that's where all of those lines kind of come together. And I'm going to put that in the center of my paper. You're going to use your pencil. I'm going to use a pen for some of this just so that you can see it better in my tutorial. So there's my vanishing point, one tiny dot. Next, this is very important that I line up correctly. I'll need my ruler. I'm going to line up with the vanishing point. So I'm like making a hinge on my vanishing point with my ruler. And then I'm lining up with the corner of my box that I drew. I do not need to line up with the corner of my paper. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again because a lot of people, when they're starting, try to do that instead. I do not need to line up with the corner of my paper. I need to line up with the corner of my box. Draw these lines lightly because you'll be erasing part of them. In fact, you don't. You can even skip drawing through the box, and if you're confident in how you've lined it up, you can simply start at the corner of the box and draw out, and that way you don't have to erase it after. Okay, I have my four sides drawn. I'm gonna take an eraser next. If I can find one here, there we go. I'm going to erase any lines that are on the inside of my box and hopefully it will kind of come out at you and you'll be able to see that this is now a space. So I'm going to point out the different areas of the space we've created. This is an interior space, a room, one room. The ceiling here, the floor here, the side walls, and the back wall. All right, so that's your basic room setup. Now, we're not gonna. We're not gonna start um, putting objects into our room yet. We're just setting up our room. So the next two things you can do for this rotation are add a floor or type the type of flooring you want, and you could try adding some windows or doors. The way you can do that is okay. We're gonna talk about the back wall first. The back wall is special and a little different than all these other walls, ceiling, and floor. For the back wall, it's pretty simple because my back wall is a rectangle. I'm staring directly at it, meaning that all of the lines for the back wall are going to be vertical or horizontal lines. If I want to put a window in the back wall, 
it's really simple. I just make a smaller rectangle, box, shape, square shape. I'm gonna use my ruler for all of it, so I practice. So here I have a window in my back wall. You can get um, really creative and more detailed. You can also add more of that later, but like for example, perhaps I wanna put in a little curtain. in my window, you know, give it a little more character. You can do that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate my back wall. You can put posters, windows, doors, anything that's on the wall. We're not, again, we're not putting furniture in yet. Okay, so decorate your back wall first. Then, we're gonna try out some flooring. You can have a carpet, a tile floor, a wooden floor. The key with the flooring is we're always gonna check the lines on the outsides of our space. So these two lines are called converging lines, meaning that they meet the vanishing point. That means if I wanna put in a tiled floor, my lines coming out need to meet the vanishing point. So I'm gonna line up with the vanishing point, draw a line out line up. It's, a, it's like a hinge. I always think of it that way. Line up with the vanishing, draw a line out. Line up with the vanishing point, draw a line. Vanishing point, line. And vanishing point, line. Okay. One more, maybe. Okay, I have, these could be like wooden floorboards. If I want to put in tiling, I need to do some horizontal lines. I see that this side of the floor is a horizontal line, so I know that any other lines that I want going this direction need to be horizontal. Now, I'm as in addition to going horizontal, I'm also making the tiles wider as they come towards me because we know that things get bigger as they come closer to our eyes. So they start out small and get bigger. That's gonna create perspective. Now I have a tiled floor I only have one window in the background, but I can do some more of that a little bit later. And then my side walls, I can put in a door, a window, a poster. Now again, I need to pay attention to the direction of the walls directly above and below where I want to put the item in. If I want to put a door in, I'm going to do two very straight vertical lines. One mistake that I often see when practicing is that your the vertical lines become angled and it's going to skew the perspective and make it look like a Fun house, mirror, carnival house, so get, which is fun too, but for this, for this point of practicing, I want you to really practice to get straight lines. Two verticals, drawing lightly, remember, because you always end up erasing. Then I meet up with my vanishing points to create the top of the door. I want my door to be a little taller, actually. So I'm gonna go back and continue those verticals until they meet the top of the door. Get rid of my extra. Um, I might want to put in a door frame. So two verticals again. Now I can't just put it across here. I need to use the vanishing point. Always using the vanishing point. And we have the top of the door frame. Okay. If I want the door closed, Put the little door handle in, two sides of the handle, and then I need to use my vanishing point again. Like so. And maybe on this side of the wall, I'll put a poster or a painting. So I'm going to do two. This will be a large painting, I think. Two lines coming out from the vanishing point. And then two vertical lines here. You can put a frame around it, create what's going to be in the painting. You can put things in the ceiling as well. You can put light fixtures, a ceiling pattern. That's all we're going to do for this rotation. That's quite a bit to learn. So I want you to first set up your room and then consider adding some windows, doors, um, type of flooring, type of ceiling to your space. Keep your drawing in a safe spot because we're gonna keep working on these for the next few rotations.